Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are doing a reading and this is for the sign of Aquarius and keep in mind that this will not resonate for every Aquarius. If you like a personal reading, that is going to be down below in the description where you can find that on my website. You can also find a bunch of other things there on that website. You can go watch videos, listen to music, go chat with each other, go chat with me, go on group chats, go shop. There's a lot of things you can do and it's free to sign up and join. So, Getting into your reading, let's see what we have for you. We're going to pull one card to see what is going to be the theme of the day for your reading. So let's see. Alright, we have multiple cards here <laughs> that fell out. It is the Prince of Pentacles, or the Prince of Cups, I mean. There's the Five of Wands. The Prince of Cups is in reverse, though, so let me see if that has a reverse meaning. Where's the Princess? The Prince in reverse is lacking empathy and kindness towards others. So, there is somebody here appearing in this reading that is lacking empathy and kindness towards others. I don't know if that's one of you guys, or if you have somebody around you that's like that, or... Ugh. Yeah, there's somebody that's popping up in this reading like this. It could be some people that you may have dealt with that were like this. Five of Wands with the Prince of Cups in reverse. I don't know who that is that's popping up in the reading, but it's somebody. And for some reason, that's the theme of the day. So that's not exciting, but it's what popped up. Now let's pull three of these cards. To see more for Aquarius. You have number 27 with emotional balance, stability, harmony, peace, fluidity. You have number 26 with connection, universal oneness, love, interconnection, support. Number 42 with insight, understanding, awakening, awareness, self-valuation. So, there's a lot of twos. Twos represent partnerships. So, I feel like there are some important partnerships either happening in your life currently or about to happen. Now, these important partnerships, they feel like they, they bring emotional balance to your life. They bring some sort of emotional stability to your life here. Maybe because you have dealt with a lot of people that were lacking empathy and kindness towards you. And now it feels like you're making connections where there where there is people that actually care. Okay? And this is in terms of all areas of your life. This is, this is in terms of, you know, like, I don't know, like business, friends, romance. The list goes on with it. Right? Maybe you're kind of seeing these connections before they happen with the insight card we have a lot of green here too green is for the heart chakra green is also for money it's for money it's for plants so you could be in that vibration here of like the earth i know that sounds weird but when you when you know you know right hmm i don't think i have a lot of green cards though like green decks Let's pull two cards from here. Let's see more for Aquarius. Three through three. I just seen that. So twos and threes. Aquarius. Threes are divine guidance. Twos are partnerships, like I said. So it feels like you're being divinely guided towards, once again, some important partnerships in your guys' life. Some important connections here. We have an interview. Somebody here is getting an interview. Changes. There's an interview that changes things for you. Now you're getting an interview. Either you're getting an interview. Or you're interviewing somebody. And there's changes that happen during this interview. This is part of your important connections here. It's what I see. Now let's get one card from here. Oops. There's a lot of cards that just fell out. So we'll take them. All right, we have we have two. We have create and then we have conquer. It says get creative in your business. How can you break the rules in your niche? How can you create momentum? How can you zag when all others zig? And this is conquer. You have the strength to overcome all challenges on your path to emotional and financial freedom. Keep going. Be unstoppable. If it's, it, ooh, look at this. 
it feels like you're really changing up the game. Like you're standing out from the competition. It's like you're doing things differently than what your competition is doing. You're doing it in a different way and it feels like you're conquering it. It's like you've created your own path here. Okay, some of you guys may be creating something in your guys' lives, like some, some sort of art project or product or, I don't know, something. Okay, so let's see. Let's go over here. Let's grab these cards and let's see more for Aquarius. We have the Ace of Wands. We have the Eight of Wands. There's a lot of Wands here. There's the Four of Swords. So yeah, you guys are creating something. I feel... I definitely do feel like, once again, you're beating out the competition. Just because you're so different. You're so unique is what I see for you. Um, I'm also seeing you guys... You guys are getting this balance between work and rest here as well. But you're definitely in this fiery... Like, you're very... I feel like you're connected with all the elements right now, Aquarius, you know. You're like air where you kind of float through things easily. You know, we have we have you being like very intuitive, so you're very much connected with your emotions here. And we have you connecting with the earth, so connecting with the earth element. And you're also very passionate. You're very motivated, so that's the fire element. That's all elements here. See more. Uh, okay. Look, there's a lot of money coming in for you guys. I feel like there is love coming in, but I feel like you're very unsure about it because it's like you're that's not really your focus. You're kind of more focused here on your career. And maybe maybe the person coming in is kind of a bit immature and you're you're wanting something a bit more serious. So I feel like you're gonna hold off until you find somebody more serious. And I feel like there will be somebody more serious about you coming in because we had the connections card. So I feel like you're gonna be you're gonna be making some important connections, love wise, uh, business wise, you know, all 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 areas of your life that you need to make connections in, you will be. Yeah, there is some love coming your guys' way. What you do with it, that's going to be up to you. Some of you guys may also have somebody from the past come back in. I feel like a couple things. Like, you may have some past person come back in. Some of you guys may be trying to move forward with your life into a new relationship and you may have people of the past trying to prevent you from moving forward in your new relationship, but I feel like you're ignoring these people and continuing to move forward here. Or there's just somebody here that looks back at the past a lot. Yeah. <coughs> I feel like the thing for you is you're moving in a new direction and you have people from the past that were, you know, lacking empathy and kindness towards you, still expecting you to remain in the same spot you've always been in, you know, that they remember you being in. But I feel like you're not wanting to be in that spot anymore. You're wanting to move forward in your life and you're wanting to change your life. But I feel like they're, they're really having a hard time adjusting with this. But who, I mean, who cares about that, really? You know, these people, they obviously don't have your best intentions at heart your best interest at heart. Otherwise, they'd just be happy for you because you're happy, right? You're happy and you're doing good. But it's like these people in their mind have convinced themselves that you're not doing good, even though it's the opposite. It's like they don't even see reality here. There's something here you've been asking God for that you're about to receive. And once again, here's these people. But these people, it's like they can't stop you because you're, you're in your own power is what I see for you. see more 
What are you receiving? There's a king of swords. King of swords is yourself, whether you're male or female, does not matter. Temperance. Temperance is here once again. Some of you guys could have Sagittarius in your chart. Or we just have a guardian angel around you here. Or you guys could have a Sagittarius coming in to speak to you. Some of you guys may end up ignoring that Sagittarius. Either a Sagittarius or a Capricorn here. That I feel like really wants to talk to you, but I feel like you don't really want to talk to them. Okay. There's a Queen of Pentacles. There's an Eight of Cups. Yeah, there is, there's, I feel like there's a Capricorn here that was once very much attached to you in your life, or they had some sort of important role in your life. Some of you guys could even have been with them in a relationship at one point in time, but I feel like this is somebody here that you don't really want attached to you anymore, so I see you kind of walking away from them. But I feel like these are. this is another one of those people that were lacking kindness and empathy. So that's the reason why you're walking away from them. You know, you're wanting different things for your life. You're celebrating. You're celebrating your investments, Aquarius. I feel like you've made some good investments here with your career. All right, I see there's people here wanting to work with you. Some of you guys may have walked away from a job to pursue something else, to pursue a different job here. Maybe because you felt like the old one was just too many obstacles and it's like you're tired of fighting those obstacles. Aquarius. We have you guys reconnecting with your spirituality and once again, heading towards what is emotionally fulfilling for you. Because look at this. This looks like the emotional balance card in the beginning. You guys are doing what is emotionally you know, what is balancing you out emotionally? You're heading towards what you feel like is calling you. You know, not what other people want you to do. You're doing what you want to do for your life, Aquarius. That's what I see happening. And you're sitting here manifesting it. Some of you guys be manifesting a business and you're manifesting your business growing here. All right. There's somebody here that misses some animal from the past. And you guys are, you guys are really going after your hopes and your dreams is what I see. Yeah, you're heading into a new territory, which is your hopes and your dreams. Okay. So let's see more. We have Aquarius popping up. So we're going to grab the Aquarius Tarot. Yeah, you're overcoming obstacles here. We have the otter, but you're naturally the otter within the zodiac sign. The otter is playfulness. The otter is um, family as well. Some of you guys could be reconnecting with your family, or there could be some changes happening within your family here. Uh, there is, there's, I see money coming in for you guys. And once again, there's these changes. There's a radical transformation that's about to happen for you, and you're being risen here back towards the light, Aquarius. You're going back towards the lights. Okay. So let's go back over here for a moment. Let's pull one. One for Aquarius. It is number 12 with desires, goals, passions, craving, fulfillment. So yeah, I see you going towards your guys' desires. All right, and I'm seeing you guys being happy that you're achieving your desires and your goals here. This is like where you're you're your happiest at. This is where you're at your highest vibration here. This is where you're at like the lightest feeling of your life. You know, this is this is where you're meant to be is what I feel like. Like you going in this new direction, that's exactly where you're meant to be. All right. Some people may not like what you're doing, like the people from the past. But I mean, they, like they should be happy for you. You know, otherwise they're not really your true friends to be honest. We have, okay, so some of you guys could be creating something. Once again, there's something here you're creating, Aquarius. You're creating and you're sending. There's something that you're watching or you're observing. You're watching, you're watching another Aquarius is what I see. And I feel like you're getting ideas. I feel like you're getting inspiration from them and you're creating something, like you're adding it to your creation. Four of Swords in reverse. Let's see if that has a reverse meaning. Uh, 
now's the time for action. Don't be slow. So now, I feel like now is the time to create what you are creating, Aquarius. Now's the time to do it, okay? Do it. That's what I feel like for you. Whatever you're creating, continue to do it. Or you have the idea to create it, create it. You know what I'm saying? So. Aquarius, that is what I have for you. If you want to see more content for your sign, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye, guys.